Welcome to the first AFC event, Boxing Edition, and it's a friendly, non-official, light contact tournament where hobbyists and amateurs can test their skills and gain new experiences. Let's get ready to rumble. We have Michael from the Zen Dragon channel against Alex. Michael wearing gray and black, Alex black and blue. So the first round starts. Now Alex is a Jeet Kune Do practitioner that has a little bit of background with Karate. Well, Michael is a Kung Fu practitioner that has trained in MMA. So you can tell that his MMA training gives him a more proper and cleaner boxer stance and more pro boxing punches. Alex, on the other hand, is trying to use that longer reach with the lead hand moving in and out. I don't know if he's doing that because of the Jeet Kune Do concept of using the lead hand or simply because he feels more comfortable doing that. He lowers his head also to avoid the punches. His, his guard, Alex's guard is too low he, because he focuses only on touching and going out, in and out with the lead hand, where Michael has a proper boxer's guard. Th that was a good punch by Michael there. Yeah, this is like a cat and mouse game. Alex punches, goes in, goes out, and runs around the ring while Michael is more boxed, trying to get in closer and throw a combination. The problem with fighting on such a side guard like Alex is doing is that it's very hard to use your rear hand if you're on your side like that. You can see there, when you get in close, the rear hand gets becomes kind of useless, especially if it's so low. So Michael should get in closer and try to pressure him and throw combinations that are a shorter distance. Alex's game is clearly to keep the distance like a fencing game. Punch or hit and get out quickly. Let's see how this goes. I prefer the closer range exchange of combinations, but when it, it's a game of points, Alex's method is the safer way to keep the distance, go in, then go out. That was a good, good hook in the end there. I don't know who got the first round. Let's see how the second round goes. Okay. Yeah, so Alex does get in a few punches in there from a distance to the head and body. He switches between the head and body with that jab. If this was a full contact match, those wouldn't do too much damage, but in a point point game, yes, those are the ones. Those count. So you, Michael should try to kill the distance, get as close as possible, so that he cannot use that longer jab. See? Yeah. What Alex does is, he waits for a small opening, punches in, then gets out. Michael needs to get in closer and pressure him and throw combinations. Yeah, Alex is just, he does have good consistency of movement. He just moves around as much as he can. Yeah, he did, he did land a few of those longer jabs. Again, it's hard to see if anyone has an advantage here. But if Alex gets this, it's because of the longer reach. Did Michael does get some counter punches in though. Yeah, Alex has gotten a few of those longer jabs to the body. They have actually gone. In. That's where Michael needs to push. He needs to press there against the ropes and throw combinations. 
It's a very or unorthodox way of using his hands by Alex. Michael has a more proper boxer's form. I believe at a closer range, Michael would have an advantage. But when it's uh, if it's if they play this longer range game, Alex will will come on top because he gets longer reach and he moves around more. Yeah, this was because of those cleaner long long range jabs. <laughs> 